If David had gone there, Willie or Barnabas would have found him and brought him home. Not, not if they hadn't seen him. The more I think about it, the more sure I am. Every time, every time David disappeared, we'd find him at the old house. Yes, but we searched all around the area and didn't find anything. We didn't search inside the house, Carolyn. We let Willie talk us out of it. The little girl at the top of the stairs. What? The night of the, the costume party that Barnabas had at the old house. I thought I saw a little girl at the top of the stairs. Do you remember, Carolyn? Yes. Well, at that time, I thought it was my imagination. But now I know that I really did see a little girl. And it must have been Sarah. Well, that settles it. You think David went to the old house to look for Sarah? I think it's very possible that a room in that old house is the secret hiding place that David was talking about. But, Joe, they couldn't sneak in there all the time without somebody seeing them. Well, maybe not. But I think we ought to go take a look. What do you say, Sheriff? Well, if there's even a chance that David is there, I think it's worth a try. Should we go down there now? All right, you lead the way. Search for David, of course. Well, you haven't got much time. The sun's about to rise. I'm aware of that. Who's that? We'll know in a moment. Well, oh, Sheriff uh, Haskell. Mr. Collins? We'd like to take a look around your house, if you don't mind. Not at all. My house? Here? Why? We have a hunch that David might be hiding in here. David here? Why would he come here? Well, to find Sarah. But why would she be here? He isn't here. He can't be. The house has been locked up all day long. I told you that before. Well, David has a way of getting past locks. He isn't here, I tell you. One of us would have seen him. Willie's right. Besides, why would he come finding her here? Well, because Sarah's been seen in this house. Vicky saw her here the night of the party. Now, we thought that maybe Sarah and David have been sneaking into the house to play, perhaps when you were out. I doubt that. And the little girl that Miss Winters saw was a figment of her imagination. Maybe. Maybe not. All the same, we've, we'd like to take a look around. Now, you can't do that. Why not? Because there's nobody here but us. Listen, Willie, why are you always so nervous about letting people look in this house? I ain't nervous. Willie's only trying to be loyal. He knows I like privacy. But in this case, I don't see why you could have any objections toward us taking a look around. I don't. But it's simply that I feel you're wasting your time. Then it's all right if we take a look around? Of course. Barnabas, it's all right, Willie. Come with me, gentlemen. Well, obviously, he's not here. I'm going to look in the back of the house. All right, I'll look upstairs. That's where Vicki uh, saw the girl. Is it all right with you, Mr. Collins? Certainly. I'll meet you back here in a few minutes, then. Right. Barnabas, you shouldn't have let them in here. I had no choice. You were making them suspicious as it was. But Barnabas, they might... they might search. I know. But they will find nothing. There's nothing upstairs or at the back of the house. Well, they might search the basement. They haven't yet. Well, they might. And they might search the coffin room when they find your coffin. Willie, be quiet, you fool. They know. They know everything. Be quiet, Willie. And I meant it. Okay. But don't pretend you're not scared. You're just as scared as I am. The sun will be rising in a few minutes. You've got to get to your coffin. I know. Well, we've got to get rid of them. We've got to. Let me handle this. Here's the sheriff.
well, Sheriff. Did you find anything? No, not a thing. I was afraid you wouldn't. Joe? Joe! How's going? Did you have any luck? No. You? No. All I found was a lot of empty rooms. I was afraid you gentlemen were wasting your time. But did you search every place? Every place on this floor. The cellar was locked. I couldn't get in. Do you keep your basement uh, locked, Mr. Collins? Well, there's... It's been locked ever since I moved in here. Uh, no one ever goes down there. Hey, maybe we ought to take a look around. Huh? Well, you'll find nothing. There's nothing down there but a lot of odds and ends. Well, that sounds like a perfect place for a couple of kids to play. I think we should go take a look. Haven't you wasted enough time? Well, it won't take very much more time, We've Mr. Collins. We've searched every place else. We might as well do a thorough job. I buy that. But it's impossible for Willie to have gotten, uh, at least David, to have gotten down there. Why? Well, as I told you, no one's ever been down there. And that door has been kept locked ever since I moved in. Well, maybe David has found a different way to get in there. Well, that hardly seems likely. Well, likely or not, Mr. Collins, I think we ought to take a look around. But may we have the key, Mr. Collins? I'm afraid you can't. Well, why not? I lost it. Lost it? Yes, it was with some keys that Elizabeth gave me when I moved in, and I misplaced it. So you possibly can't get down through that door. Well, we could break it down. Break it down? Why not, if there's nothing valuable down there? I can't let you do that. Why? Well, I can't allow you to destroy family property. Listen, I can repair the door later. But I insist. I, I can't possibly allow you to do that. Why not? Well, for one thing, it isn't necessary. And, and David's not down there. There's nothing down there. Why do you object to my taking a look? I don't object. To, it's just that I... Sheriff! Sheriff! Carol, what Joe! Are you doing? One of the sheriff's deputies just called. He said they know where David might be. Well, where? A woman spotted a little boy fitting David's description several hours ago. He, he was walking along the beach road. About two miles outside of town. They're going to call the area now, and they'd like you down there as soon as possible. Thank you, Captain. We better get going right away. I'll take Carolyn back to the house and join you. Oh, well, Mr. Collins, would you uh, like to come along with us? I think not. I I'll see you later. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Of course. Yes, but the sun is about to rise. But you've got to stop your search for David. Yes, but I want you to continue the search all day long if necessary, but find him. And if I do, bring him here to this house. What are you going to do? Find him, Willie, and bring him here. After that, I'll decide what to do next. Vicky, Vicky. Roger, what are you doing here? I, I thought you were in Boston. Well, I just got back. What's going on? Why are all the lights on? Roger. I just passed the sheriff in the driveway. What's happened? It's David. What about him? He's disappeared. Disappeared? He sneaked out of the house earlier this evening and he's been gone all night. All night? Why didn't you call me? Well, I didn't want to worry you. There was nothing you could do. We've called the police and they're out looking for him. And you haven't heard anything? 
Not yet. And he's been gone all night long? Yes. Where would he have spent an entire night? Where? time did he disappear? Carolyn said it was sometime between seven and eight. Carolyn? I wasn't here. Well, where were you? I was out with Burke. Carolyn said she'd keep an eye on David for me. I thought we paid you to take care of my son. I'm sorry, Roger. Well, never mind. Go on. What happened? Did David and Carolyn get into a squabble and David decided to run away? No, no. It, it wasn't anything like that. David went out looking for Sarah. Sarah? His playmate, that little girl he's always talking about. Well, why would he look for her at night? Well, Joe Haskell was here. Haskell? What's he got to do with it? He and Sam Evans are looking for Sarah because they think that she knows something about Maggie's disappearance. And since David is the one who's seen the most of her... So Haskell sent him out to search for this child after dark. That was brilliant of him. No, no, it wasn't anything like that. David volunteered to go out himself and, and Joe and Carolyn said that he couldn't go out, but... He sneaked out anyway. Well, Carolyn knew that he wanted to go out and she didn't keep an eye on him. It wasn't her fault. No one can keep an eye on David all the time. All I know is my son was supposedly left in the care of responsible adults. He's disappeared for an entire night and no one seems willing to claim the responsibility. Roger. Vicky. Yes, I didn't want to rain. Roger, you're back. Yes, and high time, it would seem. Where's Mother? She's still in Boston. Oh, has Vicky been telling you what's happened? Yes, and I want you three to know that I hold you responsible. Well, don't blame the girls. If anybody's responsible, I am. I, I shouldn't have gotten David so excited about finding Sarah. And you certainly share in the blame. Uncle Roger, please. We do have some news. News? A boy fitting David's description was spotted on a road outside of town. When? Hours ago. But the police think he may still be in the vicinity. What vicinity? Where? On the beach road, about two miles outside of town. Near the railroad crossing. The police are down there now to comb the area. They think if the boy was David, they have a very good chance of finding him quickly. When did this happen? You were upstairs when the call came in, and I couldn't wait around to tell you. I went up to the old house to get the sheriff and Joe. I just stopped by to drop Carolyn off. I'm heading out that way now. Do you want to come with me? Yes, I'll get my coat. Joe, don't pay too much attention to what Uncle Roger says. He's very upset. I know. Did the police really think that there's a chance of finding him? Absolutely. If David's in the area, they'll find him. Shall we go? Yeah. We'll let you know the minute we hear anything. for both of us to stay down here. Why don't you go up and rest? I'll wake you if there's any news. I couldn't sleep. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? You've been up as long as I have. Well, I couldn't sleep either. I wish one of us could. I guess we shouldn't be so worried. You heard what Joe said. The police have every hope of finding David. Yes. I heard. He wouldn't have said it if he hadn't meant it. No. Would he? Joe didn't get the phone call from the deputy. What do you mean? Never mind. Carolyn, please tell me. Well, the... The deputy wasn't quite as hopeful as I made him sound. Why not? Well, the woman who... Thought she saw a boy fitting David's description. 
but she was rather old and not considered very reliable. Well, that doesn't mean that she didn't see him. No. And the police are checking out her story. But the deputy told me not to get my hopes up too high. Only a lot of blue uniforms swarming through the underbrush. This is the highest point of land for miles around. Well, I don't see a thing. I'm convinced that so-called report was a lot of nonsense. Oh, well, maybe. But you heard the deputy. He finally admitted that woman who thought she saw David was old and a little senile. Well, that doesn't mean she didn't see something. Now, David might still be in the vicinity. If David was in the vicinity, the police would have found him by this time. They still might. Well, not if they're up to their usual efficiency. Look, they're doing as well as they can. I know, which, as usual, is highly inadequate. got to come. Somebody's got to. was closed last night. Somebody opened it. Is anybody in there? Is anybody in there? is possible. You must rest. 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 Help. 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 I know somebody's out there. Please, don't go away. <laughs> 